steady, rock hard, rock steady, rock hard, rock steady, rock hard, rock. Hey guys, it's Pat Hard here. Let me sit this ass on you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, today I'm going to be talking you through this speed painting of Rick Grimes or Andrew Lincoln from The Walking Dead. And I painted this portrait of him using watercolor paint and really only used one brush throughout this whole painting. Um, and I also used a white gel pen to help with the highlights and that's it. So... We lost a good chunk of time in the studio because some of the files got deleted and accidentally. So it's going to skip from me painting the eye to me painting to the face almost being completely done. So I'm sorry about that. But, you know, what can you do? I guess what's happen. So anyway, what I'm doing right now is layering. And I, for my outline, I drew out you know, his, like, veins and, like, some of the, like, um, abstract shapes for the dirt and grime on his face, and I drew it really lightly so that it wouldn't show up, um, under the paint, and it wouldn't bleed when I, because the watercolor is wet, it wouldn't bleed when I put down the paint. So, layering is really important. And I also layer using oil paints, too. So, since his face is so dirty in the reference photo, I'm, you know, layering on uh, yellows and oranges and um, blues. And the pinks and the, um, the pink is really his skin color. And the yellow is really his skin color, but the oranges and the blues just help when they're like blended together, help to make his face look dirtier. And the um, left side of his face is in shadow. So I really focused on darkening that up. And um, also when you layer you and you add on those dark colors around the forehead, it helps to shape his face because... Rick or Angela Lincoln has a very a prominent forehead and he has um like a very slim face and like kind of high cheekbones so you have to you know place those darker colors like kind of contour his face with the darker colors so like around his temples and underneath his cheekbones to help with that and the bridge of his nose also. So, yes. And also, a good point to make is that when you're painting something or someone, um, anything, you should, like, for instance, in this uh, reference photo, his, he has this huge beard. And, you know, if you're watching The Walking Dead now, you know that. Okay, I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm not going to say anything. But anyway, he has this huge beard in the reference photo. And um, you want to paint his face first before you paint the beard so that it actually looks as if the beard is on top of his face. And that'll just make it more natural. So start with a face. Start with things that are underneath an object first. And then paint that object. So if someone was in front of Rick, you know, standing in front of him and was blocking part of his face, I would paint him first and then I would paint the person in front of him last. Okay, so also I'm painting, I'm painting the ear. Um, I'm kind of like layering it little by little and you're going to notice that I'm, I paint the hair uh, after, even though the ear is in front of the hair, but... I'm going to touch up the air by, you know, bringing out the highlights. And when you bring out highlights, 
watercolor is very useful for this. It's very easy to do because you can just get a clean brush and wet it a little bit with water and just take up, rub the paint off where you want it to, um, where you want a highlight, a natural highlight, and it'll come right off. It'll never be completely white like the paper because once you put down color on white paper, it just won't ever be white again. But for a really natural highlight, uh, using watercolor is really is really um, good. So for the beard, I really had to layer. So I just for the beginning I put down basic shapes and um, I mixed um, ultraviolet blue and I don't remember this color like um, pink. <laughs> this pink color, like this raspberry color together to get like a violet. And then as you're gonna see throughout the video, I just went back with black to darken it. And um, since his beard is so dirty, I also put some, I think it's called yellow ochre on those spots. And it kind of lifted up some of the paint. So I had to go back in and um, rework those details and the beard. But it really helped because his skin underneath is yellow. And it's also pretty dirty. So it helped to create that, um, that powdery and dirty beard look. So yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. And also... It's, this video is going to skip again. Uh, you probably won't see me doing the background because I didn't plan for the background. I just kind of winged it. And um, his hair will probably be done. But I just used one color for his hair. I just used black. And I um, avoided the areas where his hair was um, reflecting white or reflecting light. And also, I just took up some paint with the brush, took off some paint with the brush to highlight his hair even more because his hair is wet in the photograph. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.